Hey guys, the following clip is about how to add and subtract algebraic fractions. Enjoy! When adding and subtracting fractions, it's really important to look at the denominator that is the deciding factor on what to do. So if we have the same denominator, denominator is the number that is underneath the fraction line. When we have the same denominator like in this example, the denominator stays exactly the same and all we do is we add the numerator which is the top part of the fraction. In this case my denominator is 5 so as an answer I'm going to have 5 at the bottom and then I need to look at my like and unlike terms. So as you can see, the unknown is P and it is the exact same unknown in both of these fractions. Therefore, all I need to do is I can just add or subtract them. This is subtracting, so 3P minus P gives me 2P. And my final answer will then be 2P over 5. Now we go into what my steps look like when I've got different denominators. So different denominator, meaning the bottom part of my fraction is different from each other. So the first thing I need to do is I need to find a common denominator. So I need to find the lowest possible value, that 7 in this case, 7 and 2, can divide into fully without any leftovers. The smallest possible number for that is 14. So I know my final answer is going to have 14, and I'm going to rewrite both of my fractions with the correct values in them. So now I need to identify what I have done with my 7 to get to 14 and what I did with my 2 to get to 14. Both of these cases, we, multiply it, we multiplied it with the other one. So I had to multiply 7 by 2 and what I do at the bottom, I need to do at the top. And the 2 I had to multiply by 7 what I do at the bottom, I need to do at the top. So, let's continue. I've multiplied 7 by 2 to get 14. Now I need to do the same at the top. So, because I'm just multiplying by a number, I'm only going to multiply the 2 by 2. And that will give me 4p. Then I go to my next term. I had to multiply the 2 by 7. So, I need to multiply the 3p by 7 as well. 3 times 7 gives me 21p. Now that I have the same denominator like I did with the first example, all I need to do now is add the top with each other. So my final answer is, is going to have a denominator of 14, and 21 plus 4 gives me 25p. And that is how we add and subtract fractions. I hope this clip helped. If it did, please like this video, subscribe to my channel and share it with anyone it might possibly benefit. If you have any questions, please drop it in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Also find the link to the rules of algebra over here. See you next time. Bye.